It's real crazy. It's crazy. All right, zeros. This is the game that's coming out for free for everyone on January 16th with games with gold. Um, <laughs> how do I say this? Don't get your hopes up. Should I say that? Is or is that like already selling it short? Uh, I'm gonna be starting from the very beginning of the game. I already have like I've played for like literally 10 15 minutes just to make sure this game works Oh light speed you're gonna love this game man. It's gonna be your favorite You're gonna be the first person and only person with a thousand you're gonna be the community representative for this game um, So I've played for 10 15 minutes. I have one achievement you can't see the achievements the achievements are actually all completely secret. I actually emailed the developer and got the developer to send me the achievements early. So I know what they are. I, he didn't tell me not to share them, so I'll probably share them if you guys are interested. Um, not like publicly, but I'll probably talk about them in this stream. Uh, I have like one upgrade equipped and the game is quite difficult. I'm playing on normal. I think you have to beat this game six times to get all the achievements in. You have to beat it on easy, normal, hard. Once you beat it on hard, you unlock a difficulty called Mike. Then you unlock a difficulty called Captain something. And then you have to do it in local couch co-op. That's a little sucky. Uh, let's just fucking go. All right, so I'm gonna be starting from level one one. I won't be skipping the cinematics. I have one upgrade already equipped on my character as you can see those little orange slabs well technically two upgrades but I only use like one point for both of those upgrades so what you can see like here this upgrade requires two RP I don't know what RP stands for uh, reputation points I don't know and you unlock certain like moves and you can uh, for this one you unlock like shield powers and then for this one you unlock gun powers so far the gun seems to like waste all of your energy very 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 quickly um so it's not something i've used very much and it doesn't also do a lot of damage uh there is an achievement for completing a level without taking a hit i've tried it a few times on this first level very difficult all right ready to start yes i am i saw the microsoft stream of it let's just say kappa oh i didn't realize um I didn't realize Microsoft streamed it. They didn't tell me not to talk about the achievements, so I'm gonna talk about them. There's one achievement for completing the game on every difficulty, then one achievement for completing the game on local co-op. There's one achievement for completing the first level, one achievement for not taking damage in a level, one achievement for um, probably getting all the upgrades. One 80 point achievement for completing all eight levels in the first world, one achievement for completing all eight levels in the second world. I'll let you guys watch this and I'll pull up the achievement list right now. Sorry, I'm just dealing with like a lot of different embargo information in my head all at once. So I'm making sure I don't say anything I can't. I can talk about this game though as much as I want. Also, all of the achievements are written in broken English, which is... <laughs> Complete a level without using any medkits. Reach a hundred combo. Deflect a hundred bullets. Revive your companion. Destroy 300 enemies. Find all secret areas. Complete the game without using any ultimate weapon. Buy all of the upgrades. And defeat the final boss. What up, Wigga93? How's it going, man? Can you stay back with your other controller for local co-op? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't tried local co-op yet. I have no friends. Uh, no mods in the chat? Oh, snap. I guess I can't do the giveaway. Let's just say the best thing about this game is the graphics. Actually, the music is really good, in my opinion. 
All right, so you use the left stick to move around. A is jump, X is light attack, Y is heavy attack. Or did I get that? Yeah. You can hold the buttons to do charged attacks. You can jump and slam down. Um, B is roll, which I didn't even fucking know was a, was a command until now. I know you can unlock like evade and stuff. Um, you have to burst these open for like orange dots and orange dots are points and points are good video game logic um, The first level I don't know if this is par for the game the first level is kind of boring to be honest So the cinematic this introduces you into the the enemies I guess there's I've only played against one enemy type so far What up Cox is that your name Cox? And then you can do like different combos of buttons. So you can do like X, Y, X. And I think that's a different attack. Um, oh, by the way, and then the left trigger is your shield. So left trigger is your shield, right trigger is your gun. I don't wanna, I'll pull it out, but I'm not gonna shoot anything cause like literally two bullets uh, deplete your entire blue meter up in the corner and they don't do any damage. I don't really see the point of using a gun in this game, at least at this stage for me. Maybe it just makes the enemies like move back and that can be helpful for not taking more, as much damage. Oh shit, if you evade and then hit, it does more damage. That's cool. Also, if you use your uh, shield right as an enemy is about to shoot you, you can deflect the bullet back at them, which is cool. Um, yeah, so you can unlock a lot of cool combos. It's just, they're not that intuitive to do, in my opinion. And they can sometimes be hard to execute. I also don't think you can skip enemies. So I almost blocked his... I'll try to show you guys what it looks like when you uh, reflect the bullet back at an enemy. But if you can time it where you pull up your shield right as the bullet's coming at you, uh, it'll reflect back to the enemy and damage them like quite a bit. Are the audio volumes okay by the way? So I think I have to use the B button more often and evade enemies. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get one of these reflections, but they're quite hard to pull off. Oh, almost. I am kind of button mashing. I know you can use combos and stuff. I've just found it, at least in my own experience. It's kind of easier to button mash, and it seems just as effective as trying to actually time combos and stuff. Obviously these uh, green crates are uh, health crates. I would assume that getting the achievement for taking no damage and getting the achievement for not using any health crates would probably be best done together. You have to be really good at dodging, using combos and stuff, and probably reflecting a lot of bullets to get I would what I would assume is like a perfect run though. Cause I get I get nowhere near a perfect run, but then again I don't have most of the upgrades either. How's it going Cox? What up Chris Alden? How's it going man? Having a good night? Hope you are. So you can take damage and use health to get that achievement, or is it just to avoid all damage? Um, the achie one achievement's for not using any of the health stuff, and there's one achievement for not taking any hits in a level. Also, you do unlock more evading moves uh, as you level up your reputation and stuff.
There may be really short levels later in the game too. Yeah, that's possible. Uh, I noticed that level two was way harder than level one. And uh, from what I've heard, level three is like very hard. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I blocked his bullet, but I didn't reflect it. Maybe if you get all the upgrades, you can just use your shield a lot and use your gun a lot. Right now, from experience, my gun doesn't even do enough damage to do, like, kill one group of enemies. Or, like, even one enemy, for that matter. So, yeah, I just reflected a bullet. That's what that looks like. So, yeah, I just reflected another bullet. If you, if you time it with your shield properly, uh, it's very effective. But it's not, it's not something that's, like, super easy to do. And more often than not, you're probably going to fail at reflecting a bullet. Unless I guess you're really good. Um, the combat is not as timing based as games like Batman or uh, Shadow of Mordor. It's not like Assassin's Creed either when you can just point in a direction like midway through an attack and, and um, the counter an enemy. If the enemy's coming in at you and you're mid, mid attack, like there's nothing you can really do. Uh, to block them or counter them from personal experience maybe um, I'll unlock that later I don't know also I do know some information about this game but when I play AIPD later I'm gonna know nothing what up Frodo how's it going man hey what's up Andy boy how's it going man I saw a video Frodo posted today and you were labeled as one of the top 10 achievement hunters in the world in that video i think which is pretty cool that's the end of the first level i think there's 16 total levels ish this looks like a this looks like it's a fun little game oracle ozai do you have to kill the enemies couldn't you just roll through the level uh there's invisible walls uh if you just keep trying to move forward there's like this purple wall that comes up uh, maybe there's some areas you can skip like I know there's little secret branches where you can get like extra stuff um, You can skip certain areas in that first level I don't think you can skip many areas. Maybe that one little side loop at the end uh, But you can't roll through the entire level right now. We're gonna do level one two. I've beaten this level before I got zero stars Let's see if we can do better. Um, I have more upgrades. I think Yoda says another waste of hard drive space. Uh, I would that's a little harsh. Maybe what engine are they using for the graphics though? Reminds me of Trials Fusion graphics not a Ubisoft game, so I doubt it's that How do I enter the giveaway uh, giveaway is not open yet if Frodo wants to if Frodo's gonna be around and he wants to uh, Open it and run it whatever that's cool if not um i'm gonna open it in the next five ten minutes after this level i'll open up the giveaway hell yeah fifth i was so hyped well congrats on getting that video being in that video all right so this level introduces electric floors each floor has a pattern not all of the floors are the exact same pattern but they're all pretty close to each other also i don't know if you guys have noticed this i'm okay at reflecting bullets the problem is you can't rotate the camera as far as i i mean i've tried everything on the controller if there's an and if you're at the top of the screen and there's an enemy at the bottom of the screen and they shoot you there's absolutely no way you can see which way they're aiming. It's impossible. So 
So that makes it very difficult if you have an enemy below you in the three-dimensional space. Um, cause every enemy, like, they don't move their shoulders or raise their hands or anything, uh, when they're about to shoot you. So there's, like, absolutely no way for you to tell if you're about to get shot by an enemy that's, like, below you. You just have to get lucky, I guess, and use your shield a lot. I'm gonna try to use my shield more in this fight, see if it's helpful. I'm gonna also break more containers, cause the first time I did this... I'm gonna try some more combos. This is me button mashing, by the way. You can get through at least the first couple levels button mashing, and then I think you're probably gonna have to use a lot more shield, reflecting, and your gun and stuff. I also pick up all the health because I don't know how you're supposed to do this without picking up this extra health. This one I like, I'm gonna leave behind, but. So I don't know if you're scored based on the blue pickups or based on the orange pickups. Or on your time I'm not really sure for most of these electric uh, ground things it blinks twice and then there's a pause and I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to do for that one maybe I was supposed to roll through it probably roll through it I'm gonna use my gun let's let's -ta 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 -ta! Have you got Gao 2 Japanese version? Oh, that's towards Andy Boy. I don't, I definitely don't have it. All right. I mean, I barely made it through that fight. Let's be honest. I'm at like 20% of my health. But I made it. As I understand, I don't know. It, apparently, this Microsoft streamed this game earlier. Um, I think it gets like a lot harder, so I don't know. Maybe if I just do this fucking move, I won't take any damage. Oh, that's cheap. No, I took damage. <laughs> to keep my eye out for containers I missed a lot of them in that first playthrough of this map all right so if you roll into them and then press X right away you like pick them up in the air and that it seems like you don't take as much damage if you're up in the air. At least that makes sense, I guess, from a gameplay perspective. Although I'm still taking quite a bit of damage here. See, like you can use 100% of your gun, your gun energy. And you still don't... You can do 100% of your gun energy and you still don't even do enough damage to uh, kill one person. Thanks for the follow. I missed it, but I appreciate it nonetheless. So I can hear the... I can hear my dank memes. They are on. Alright, I... look how much health I have. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking balls. I'm probably missing some comments. Sorry guys, I'm trying to pay attention. I'm trying to make this 
very interesting and i'm hopefully gonna post this to youtube as a clip tonight maybe or tomorrow i'm not sure yet so the top of the screen here um this is i guess kind of a hidden optional area it's obviously not very well hidden but you don't have to come here to end the level it's a little bit dangerous i guess because you get a few enemies show up um, but you can get a whole bunch of health and a whole bunch of orange. See, I don't know the difference between orange and blue diamonds. Like, I don't really know what they do. Because as far as I can tell, your blue energy bar just refills based on time. Maybe, yep, yeah, it looks like it, it refills based on time. I'm gonna try to speed up a little bit here. the end of the level probably not if there's health if video games have taught you anything if there's a health pickup it means it's about to get harder okay found my first glitch if you uh, roll into an enemy and start a combo as they're spawning you just fucking fight against air Maybe that's not a glitch. Maybe that's just there to, like, force you to actually have to hit someone and not just be lazy and spam the button like me. This level is pretty long, it seems like. Enemies just keep fucking spawning, apparently. So many enemies! I think that's the end of the level now one thing that's a little bit unclear at least to me personally is how the scoring works I guess I'll see how many stars I get I think it's yeah so I didn't get any stars it's based on how many diamonds you got I only got 3,600 but I have no idea how I'm supposed to get more I didn't think that I personally missed any but I guess I did um, Let's try level 1-3.
What are the achievements like? They're pretty hard, dude. At least from what I've seen so far. Thanks for the follow, Daxa. I appreciate it. Alright, let's try 1-3. I don't... Do, I don't have any RP points, so... I can't do shit for upgrades. Let's start it. Sector 0. Those are laced up Lauren emotes. Oh, baby. Hey, what's up, Jelmer? How's it going, Jelmer? Having a good night, Jelmer? All right, cool. All right, let's try to pick up more orange fucking diamonds, I guess. Uh, there's these new little robot guys who I guess puke out bombs. This is my first time playing this level. <coughs> Bomber. Now, which way do I go? Which way is like the secret area? I gotta use my shield more. I don't know which way. Oh. I think this is like the way to the end of the level. So I'm gonna use this, see what's down here. Hopefully, all the points and stuff. No, okay, health, useless. I just got an achievement! Scream Man Slayer. Just a pile of metal. I think that one's for killing 300 enemies total. I want to say. Probably. Um. I feel like I took the harder route. I also feel like I'm getting slight lag pro- like lag issues. With, with frame rates. If there's a lot of enemies on screen at least, it seems that way. Um, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, I have to stomp these guys? It's not doing anything! Oh, I have to use my... I have to hold Y for two seconds, which is my mega attack. I wonder if I can kick the bombs at other enemies? Is that a tactic that works? I don't know. Um, I think you're talking about my Gone Home Guide. No problem, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I found it useful or whatever. I hope you got whatever you were looking for out of it. I'm 
gonna go at that air vent and see what the fuck this does. What is it? What the fuck are you? How do I use this thing? Oh, shit. I'm kind of running out of health here. What is this thing? I don't know how to use it. Like, there's no tutorials in this game at fucking all. Albedo is supposed to be another thousand. E oh, what the fuck? That just. What, how did that happen? Firing my lasers! Oh, apparently, you just jump into it and you, it automatically happens. I think this is fucking overpowered as fuck, but I love it. Oh shit, get back in! <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do this part without this big ass fucking mech. This mech's pretty cool. I'm gonna be the first one to admit that I, I like this mech. It seems overpowered, but it seems like it, this level might be designed for you to use it. How's it going, man? I don't know. This game was boring until I got into this mech. This mech's pretty fucking cool, man. <laughs> no, the game's not. The game's not really holding my attention as much as other things have definitely been holding my attention better. Thanks, Frodo. I appreciate it. I wonder if there's a boss battle at the end of this level. I would assume not, but maybe. I'm kind of debating going back and playing this game on easy just so I can get the 100 and 260 points out of it by just for like completing it, which I assume I can complete it on easy without the game like complaining. Um, I, oh, no batteries. Is the level over? Like, should I pick up? Here, I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up the health just in case there's something after this part. Oh, fuck me. Also, the achievements don't show up on TA. They're, like I said earlier, for some people were wondering, um, they're like blocked. So I will unlock them, they'll show up, but I can't inspect them and no one else can see them. It's fucking annoying as shit when I'm trying to make guides. Um,
Oh shit! It's so hard to see when the enemies are about to shoot their guns. It's so hard to block them properly. Almost impossible, to be honest. Also, there was a split path earlier. I feel like I might have missed out on some stuff, but maybe I took the better path. I don't really know. Like, if can I jump down here? I wonder if that's how secret look, secrets look, but I guess not. Well, this is level three that I'm playing right now, Ran. I don't know if, if it gets hard at the very end of this level. I'm hoping not. This level's fucking long! I missed a few comments here. Sorry guys, I'm trying my best to pay close attention to the game. Just in case, I will probably use this as a YouTube video for tomorrow. Like, I don't see the point of kicking the bombs. I, it's just easier to walk away from them and then not get damaged by them. Motherfuckers are like... I feel like I took way too much damage during that battle. Albedo equals two to three hours, I believe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that game next. Uh, I had the developer send me an achievement guide, so it should be pretty easy. little robots are the worst Also, I don't like how you can slam down on an enemy and they can still hit you right after. It doesn't make sense from like a game mechanics perspective. If I die at the end of this level, I'm fucking, I'm done with this. Oh, there we go. End of the level. Let's see if I got... Oh, snap! I got two reputation points. So I can upgrade my shit now. I don't know what that's 